Welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and we've got another episode of Portfolio Power Up and this time we've got special guest Justin from Crypto Quarry Mining. How's it going today Justin? I know, same old, same old Ben, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. And for you guys who don't know, me and Justin go way, way back. Been friends for a very long time. But you just recently got in to cryptos, what, a year ago, two years ago? Yeah, pretty much then, but I just recently started mining. Yeah, so you just started mining. So how many miners you got so far? Uh, right now I've got five. I've got one more on the way. UPS is here, but... I'll have five set up uh, probably by the end of the month. Nice. So you're going to have five all together. But before we get into the dirty details of his mining operation, why did you decide to start mining? And tell us the story, but not behind the name Crypto Quarry Mining. Uh, honestly, I just was bored at home. And I started <laughs> looking into it. And I was like, oh, this looks fun. So I, just, I jumped into it. All right. And the name. How did you come up with that name? Well, everyone calls... Uh, you know, when you're mining cryptocurrency, they call it a farm, but you don't mine on a farm, you mine in a quarry, so why not a quarry? <laughs> Very simple. I like it. I like it. That is something that is kind of weird where we have mining and farming, so you're just looking to make it sound simpler. What is the ultimate goal uh, for crypto quarry mining at this point? Like, what is Let's get into it. what are you what are you trying to do besides just make some money? I mean, I want to learn more about all the projects that are out there. There's obviously thousands of them out there, and there's a quite a few legitimate ones, but there's also quite a few scam ones as well. So I want to learn more about it. Just learn to how I can generate passive income and everything like. That. And uh, I mean, honestly, turn it into a bit of a hobby as well. Video games aren't just doing it. <laughs> you get a little bit older and you're like, man, there's there's ways to make money out here that actually can be pretty fun. That's why I love the stock trading and crypto trading and all that. I enjoy every minute of it. But the mining, most people think of Bitcoin, but you're not mining Bitcoin at all. What are you mining? I'm actually mining Litecoin. Litecoin. For you guys who don't know, Litecoin is a fork off of the Bitcoin blockchain. It was made by... Uh, Charlie, I can't remember what his last name is, but was the inventor of Litecoin. Very good base project, but he kind of since left the project, and Litecoin's not been doing too much, but it has a very low supply, uh, 80 million in supply, and it is faster and cheaper than Bitcoin for money transactions. So Litecoin is one a while back when I started trading and in December that was big on my list, and it did make a nice run up to $600 at the beginning of the year, but I was really expecting it to hit like Bitcoin and start getting up into the thousands and just never did it. So what do you think about Litecoin? Pretty consistent over the last couple of months I've been watching it. Uh, we did see a bit of a dip uh, last, or started this week actually. Yeah, that's uh, across the whole market. So I mean, that's not just particularly to Litecoin. Yeah, I'm not really worried. Uh, again, I'm just using it to kind of get my foot in the door and I'm just using electricity and making Litecoin. So I don't have to actually put in any real effort. So, on a side not? note, since you mentioned the electricity, how much is it, it costing you for like five miners like a month adding to your bill? Because I know a lot of people ask that always. Uh, right now, I haven't seen a full month of it with them running. Uh, but I, where I live is actually pretty cheap. I think it's about eight cents a kilowatt hour. So I'm estimating probably about a, maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars more. Okay, and then about how much Litecoin? Are you expecting to make in that month? Uh, right now, I'm getting about 14% of a Litecoin a day. So over 30 days, I'm terrible at math. So you're looking probably uh, so at a day, it would take about seven, six to seven days a week to get a full Litecoin. So you get probably probably estimating around four Litecoins a month, which right now it's what 160 dollars. 190, I thought. 190, okay. So around two hundred dollars, so that's about eight hundred a month. So your electricity investment, you're actually getting a four to one uh, return on. So that's actually a really nice return. Now you said you just telling me before with mining Litecoin, you also get Dogecoin in the process. Is that right? That is true. Uh, a lot of these uh, pools that you mine into will pay you out in Litecoin and Doge based on how much uh, hash rate you put into it. Uh, I've actually switched the uh, pool that I use. And I currently only get paid out of Litecoin. Oh, okay. So you don't get the Dogecoin anymore. That's probably smart because Dogecoin, I just, it's just not good, man. It's just not good. <laughs> hey, besides Litecoin, are you looking at any other coins uh, for mining? 
Uh, obviously the Bitcoin, I'll probably look into that. Ethereum, probably not so much. I just don't see how it can be profitable for too much longer. I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, I wouldn't be the first time, to be honest, but I just don't want to spend all that money on a bunch of graphics cards that might just be big paperweight, you know, five cents. Yeah, so I, I think you're smart for that. Starting off mining the altcoins out there that still have a lot of potential and room to grow whereas ethereum and bitcoin they have a lot of potential to room to grow but the mining aspect i think is getting pretty tapped out on those as far as the actual amount of uh coin you're getting for mining at this point yeah i think uh one block reward of bitcoin is like 1.5 bitcoin which i mean is still a lot but if you're mining it in a pool and you've got to share that reward you're not going to see a whole lot so you said you're in the pool is there any plans in the future to make your own pool? So, I mean, that could be a potential. It just depends on how much equipment I can get. Right now, it's very, very inflated. Some of the machines that I bought uh, probably, I think, retailed for four to 500 when they first were. And right now, they're in the realm of twelve to 1800 for all the equipment. So, you, have you been getting them off eBay or something like that? Where have you been grabbing your miners from? Uh, a couple of them I got off eBay, but then I found a local supplier. Uh, he's actually, like couple hours away uh, I was able to get a few from them very nice so yeah guys if you want to save money obviously do not buy them retail go out and try to find them other means eBay of course be careful with eBay but yeah Justin has seemingly found the cheapest route he can to fight to get the miners because that's going to be your initial investment is how much you pay for the miners so you want to pay those miners off as fast as possible uh, is pretty much the idea I'm getting, right? Yeah, right now my ROI is looking probably around 8 to 10 months, depending on price fluctuation. Yeah, well, I mean, if Litecoin finally does like shoot up to 1000 or 2000 or something, then all your mining is going to be looking really good. Because that's, okay. another, that's another thing with mining. If you're mining a coin, the money is going to fluctuate with because of that price of the coin. So, you know, right now you're making 190 a coin, in six months, if it's at six thousand or you know a thousand dollars, and you're making a thousand a coin, that's a huge ROI with that growth potential, which I think is is the biggest appeal of mining. And also, I mean, it gives you the ability to be flexible as well. Like I can jump into any other thing. I can swap that coin for whatever I want. I don't have to worry about you know like putting in my putting my own investment money in as well. I have already got the investment down. And I can just play with what I get every every week. Oh, so you're not just keeping Litecoin. You're actually taking some of the Litecoin or all of it or whatever you're doing and putting and swapping it into other coins. And uh, what are you doing there? Are you staking too as well for crypto quarry mining? Yeah, I mean, this is crypto, man. you got to go all or nothing. So I'm <laughs> definitely taking the Litecoin and I'm turning it into uh, another token and I'm staking that token. Very nice. Is there any p particular token right now that you're really bullish on, that you really like? I was a little bit on cake, but it's seen a bit of a downturn, so I've kind of switched over to a uh, banana with ape swap. You know, monkeys together are strong. <laughs> Would you consider yourself an ape? I don't know, not yet. Maybe maybe in about another month or so, once I get some more Litecoin behind me and mining. <laughs> so you're gonna be mining, using the mining profits to turn into staking? positions and then what what are you doing with those same thing kind of like i'm doing investing the staking rewards back into the staking pool so you're getting bigger rewards every month oh yeah Just keep pushing it back in there and see you know see what we're looking at in about a year or two yeah i, I like the business model you got here because if you're just mining Litecoin, it would be like, okay, your business is going to be directly tied to Litecoin's price. But the fact that you're able to take your Litecoin, swap it for a different coin, and stake those coins, your business is still tied to Litecoin's price, but you also are generating other streams of revenue with these other coins. And this is all coming from the original investment of the miners. So your cash initially went into the miners, and now the miners are generating a crypto flow, Litecoin flow that you can then switch around. So, it, you know, that's pretty good. So are you are you getting into liquidity farming and all of that, too? I know you don't like the farming term, but, you know, providing liquidity where you get the high interest rates. Now, the only issue with it is you do kind of have uh, you do got to have a higher position in the coin that you're trying to provide liquidity for. So mm -hmm. maybe in the future, once I get you know, more backing behind me, then yeah, probably I'll be looking into that. Uh, also validating and setting up those type of terminals like that to make sure that whatever you have in your house or whatever equipment you have, whether you have a house or a warehouse, consistently generating you 
Nice. And you said you're going to get into being a validator. So big, big uh, announcement here. Justin Crypto Core Mining is going to be one of the main validators for the Framework Fortune blockchain and the Fortune coin. So Framework Fortune community, go ahead and officially welcome Justin to the Framework Fortune community and Crypto Core Mining Give him a big shout out in the comments below because he's going to be our first validator for the blockchain. So you'll definitely be seeing a lot more of Justin. But back to crypto core mining and being a validator. Besides being a validator for Framework Fortune, you'll be able to also be validators for other multiple coins. Now being a validator, you are able to get a fee for securing the nodes for proof of stake networks. So... That's a whole nother way that you'll be able to generate revenue for crypto quarry mining. And using far less electricity too. Yeah, yeah, that's the big thing. So have you thought of anything with the electricity since that does seem to uh, be a cost that maybe you cut out? Like you thought about solar panels or any other way? Yeah, I definitely want to go renewable as, uh, as soon as I can. Right now it's not uh, cost effective uh, for the limited number I have. Uh, yeah. Depending on when I can get bigger miners, get an offsite location, uh, somewhere I can actually power and ventilate, uh, I'm going to look at having a solar farm like that to help offset that cost. Nice. So solar farm with the mining and the staking and the validating, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can make revenue and start your own mining company as, as well as all those other revenues just from that initial investment like Justin has done here. So you definitely want to check out his channel that he started, and he has a TikTok as well. If you want to tell them uh, real quick where they can find you on that, of course, they'll be linked in the description. Well, I mean, as, you, as you've been saying, crypto for money, both YouTube and TikTok. A lot of stuff going on, and, and I'm so glad that you're going to be a part of this Framework Fortune blockchain that we're working on right now, and you're going to be a validator, one of the first validators. You already invested the mining into the mining, so you obviously must think this is the future. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, how long ago was Bitcoin at, what, $4? <laughs> I think it was a post somewhere where a dude pays like six Bitcoins for a pizza, and I bet he needs, you know, kick it. Yeah, so how many Bitcoin did you pay for those uh, very, very nice blue glasses you're wearing there? Oh, man, actually, they were gift. <laughs> That's uh, that's that's your signature for everywhere. You're never gonna take those glasses off as long as you're on social media. Yeah, I mean, my first video was filming in the garage with my phone, and sun was coming up. I just got to work, so uh, didn't want the sun in my eyes, and uh, got a few shoutouts on them. So like, oh, they'll stay. There you go. So that's that's the story behind the glasses, guys. If you, as you can see, Justin has very simple stories behind a lot of things. They're not. They're not as complicated, and that's why we've probably been friends for a very long time because I like to keep things simple as well. So I'm sure his videos are going to be packed full of information about mining and everything you're getting into, the staking and all of that, because you're just basically sharing your experience from starting out and moving forward. Yeah, and I just want to make it as uh, simple as possible for you know everyone to be able to understand and get into it if they want to as well. Most people, I don't think, are going to be starting, you know, huge crypto mining farms. I wish everybody would. That would be fantastic. But most people probably want to start with a nice little setup. So all in all, what would you say is your startup cost? Or, or if, you know, would you recommend starting with one miner and start from there? Or do you recommend getting like four and what budget? Like, what, what have you got so far for that? Well, uh, it kind of really depends on what options you have. Like, do you rent? Do you own your own home? Uh, since I own, I'm able to modify my house to set up for the needs I need, right? Uh, right. So, electricity, you can't run some of these miners off your normal 110, 120 volt. Uh, so, you got to get an electrician and get you a 240. Yeah, but have one, yeah. I would say initial investment, I'm probably in six to eight grand right now. And I wouldn't really start with just one. Uh, if you wanted to get one, test it out, see how you do, yeah, by all means, go for it. But you, obviously, your ROI is going to be about the same, but you're not going to see those uh, 
big number. So, so yeah, it's just better just to actually save up some money or whatever you got to do to make that initial decent size investment of five to ten grand, basically. Oh yeah, and that's just for like the lower end machines. Some of these, uh, some of these miners are running in the realm of twenty to thirty grand, but those are, one of those will profit you about a hundred to ten dollars after. Right? Oh wow. Well. You know, I guess it depends. There's a there's a lot of factors that go into it with the electricity. Like you said, if you get that solar farm, then you won't have as high as cost, or maybe not any electricity cost if the solar farm can grow enough. Because I, I have heard some people are selling their electricity that's extra from their solar farms back to the electric company, which can be another form of revenue. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's that would be an option that I want to look into as well. Uh, whatever I can do to just lower that overhead. Yeah, exactly. So earlier you mentioned banana, and banana I had not heard of until the day before we were recording. You were introducing me to banana. Why are you big on banana? What do you like about banana? Banana. <laughs> Nothing? Uh, no, I mean, I looked into it a little bit. Uh, but again, with cryptocurrency, stuff like that, you've got to be all or nothing. So I looked into it a little bit. I like what it, what I saw. You know, I saw the good, the good APY looking at 80, 80 to 82% APY. And so I just took what I had in cake and went for it. Cause cake had gone down over, I think about $3. So I was like, all right, let's dump this and get something up. Yeah. <laughs> That's the great thing about cryptos. There's always something moving up in an uptrend and you can move your money around keep it keep it growing even when other cryptos are having their pullbacks and whatnot so what do you say because you think it's the future and uh you know i was going to go more into banana but it doesn't sound like you've done that much research on it yet so <laughs> maybe uh, i'll man. you got yeah. plans on uh you got plans on doing a video on banana at all or should i do that you want me to do the, the banana review video uh, definitely, I mean, if you want to do your own research as well, which that's something I recommend to everyone, right? Like, do your own research. Uh, I'm not going to say, hey, go do this, and then be about it later. It doesn't work out. But I am going to make start making videos as well as to what I'm doing with the profits. But for now, okay. I'm going to start with the, the basic ground level. How do you get into it? How do you set these things up? I try to be the basic nice. knowledge. Can. Nice. So the channel's not just going to be about mining, but pretty much all of your crypto dealings. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, awesome. So there's going to be tons of content coming out from Crypto Quarry Mine, and I'm excited about the channel. You know, you just got it. You just got it going. So since you think cryptos are the future, like I do, what do you say to the naysayers out there, specifically people whose name that start with Daniel, who say that cryptos are tulips and that this is just a fad that's going to go away? I mean, if it was going to go away, it would have already done it. <laughs> There you go. Simple, simply said, beautifully and eloquent. If it's going to go away, it would have done it. Because it's 10 years now. So actually probably over 10 years of since Bitcoin's existence. And it is certainly not going anywhere. It is spreading crazier and crazier. So if you guys are not in the cryptos yet, you know, you're still trading stocks. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to continue to trade stocks as long as the stock market's around. But there's a lot of money in the crypto markets and not just from trading cryptos but like justin here who's mining and staking and doing all these different things to bring in revenue so be sure check out his channel crypto quarry mining if you want to learn more but just, we'll be seeing justin around the channel a lot more and uh, he is on frameworkfortune.com we'll probably start him his own little mining group there eventually at some point so you guys can uh, chat it up in there too so go sign up for frameworkfortune.com it is free and of course you'll see crypto quarry mining popping up that little logo that you see there besides justin's head with the lightning pickaxe which is pretty badass if you ask me i have to agree <laughs> Well, Justin, appreciate you joining us today for this episode of Portfolio Power Up. Of course, we're going to have you back on there. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a exciting uh, future for 2022 for Framework Fortune and Crypto Quarry Mining. For sure, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm glad to be part of it. I know you do your own research, and you are usually very well educated in it. Sometimes not always well versed, but <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, ever, you saw that, guys. I just got shots fired right here at the end of the video already. So we'll definitely be, I'm sure, arguing on some other videos too. But, yeah, if you guys haven't yet, subscribe to Framework Fortune. Subscribe to Crypto Quarry Mining. Appreciate everybody joining us as always. 
you got any last words for him, Justin? Uh, no, nah, Ben, thanks for having me. And uh, thank to all you uh, potential subscribers out there. Uh, definitely hope you give me a shot. And I hope I can actually help you all make some money. Until next time.